If there's anything you can buy, it really can be counterfeit, whether they are uh, clothing, jerseys, uh, shirts, pants, purses, uh, it could be perfume, um, it could be electronics. It, really, anything a consumer can buy can be counterfeit. We've come across the wide range of things, but um, counterfeit clothing, jerseys, um, especially when they're sporting events. We have the Super Bowl that comes into town, the Final Four, uh, whatever sporting event it may be, you're gonna see counterfeit jerseys or counterfeit sporting items that are uh, that we're running into that are, that are being sold out there. If you're gonna buy a jersey, which you know, uh, whether it's through online research or going to the, the NBA store, that it's gonna cost $175, and you're gonna, you're finding it for $25 uh, at some guy walking down in front of the, uh, the arena, that's your first clue that it's probably not authentic, that it's counterfeit. Um, also, when you get you start looking at it, you're gonna look at the, the material itself. It's gonna have maybe a different feel to it. Uh, look at the stitching. The stitching, uh, it's probably gonna look like somebody like I, uh, uh, did the sewing because it's just not going to be very good. Um, maybe the labeling will be off a little bit. The, as you look at the, um, most products have their own little symbol uh, or whatever it may be. It's going to look a little bit different than what you're familiar seeing. A lot of times we'll see DVDs for instance or movies that are being sold outside of laundry mats, outside of, uh, you know, on corners and things like that. It's a pretty good chance that uh, there's like, those are counterfeit. Um, the packaging, when you look at the packaging, you can normally tell also the outside of the uh, DVD covers or the CD covers, uh, you're going to tell it's low quality, it's not not um, not the real thing. So that's your very first uh, clue that these things are, are counterfeit. Plus, they're usually selling for like $3 where you have to buy them for $12, $13 at a store. That's another clue. And in the past, we would think, you know what, I'm just getting a good deal on something and somebody's making a couple bucks because they're making something out of their garage. but. We have found that it's it's much more than that. Uh, these people that are manufacturing these jerseys or purses, whatever, they're doing these in warehouses, um, and they're huge, and they're making you know millions of dollars off of this stuff. And, but some of the things that we have found with the police department is we've had cases where we have traced that money on counterfeit goods um, through a money laundering system, where it ends up over uh, supporting terrorists, uh, supporting cartels. Uh, big organizations like that. So uh, you never know where your money is gonna go, and obviously we're all looking for a good deal out there, but understand that by purchasing these, purchasing these items, um, you very well could be funding terrorism or, or cartels.